Oh crap. Action, adventure, excitement. What's going on, people? What's going on, Bonnie? Don't let that siren from that fire truck fool you. It was just another false alarm. All right, anyway. What we got going on here, which Bonix is kind of curious about too, I'm sure. We got two big sections of six by eight fence the, with the six inch wide pickets. So what we're doing here is we're gonna be putting this up along the small retaining wall, taking this chain link out. Um, all right, so yeah, we'll be taking this chain link out basically from this pole on down and it's almost exactly 16 feet so we're going to be putting the privacy fence up here. Um, my wife wants this here. I don't really know why. That's going to really cut down on the walking room between the fireplace and the wall. But it will at least open up this walking area along my mega shed. Which has really been a tight fit through here. I mean, right here you can see just the abrasions. And that's from that wheelbarrow. There's just no room to bring anything through here with this pipe and all that. So that's what we're going to do. Probably bring it all the way down to this corner. Probably take this old wire out. This is to keep Bonix and the dogs separated. Um, but uh, it looks like Bonix has made himself a nice little pile of pellets there. Holy crap. And but yeah, so I'll show you what we're going to use here to um, basically mount this fence. All right, we got three six-foot four-by-fours, and those will be used to screw the fence to. And then these metal brackets here will be used to mount into the concrete. So you got holes in the bottom for the anchor bolts that you can drill, pre-drill holes, or run the anchor bolts in. But I'll probably pre-drill as you don't want these things to snap on you and they're already in the concrete because then you're really screwed. But, yep, yeah, probably use four bolts and then the regular screws on the side into the four by fours. So, it'll go a little something like this. Like that. And that way, they'll be secured to the concrete. That's a little block wall there. And then we'll just attach the fence to it. And that'll be our privacy fence. So, yep, yeah, we'll proceed on this, and, uh, what are you doing, Bonix? Being a nut. So, yeah, we'll, uh, record the progress as we work on this. Yep, I gotta return these. These aren't the right ones, so we're back at Home Depot to get the right ones. Right now, we're gonna go see what we can find. This is what we're needing right here. They didn't have these last time I was here, and the idiot pointed me to the ones that I got, which I didn't need. So that's what we're going to do right there, drilling into the concrete. So, three of these, and now we need to get some bolts. I have to get the car because I've actually got some weight to them. They're heavy. There you go. Big mamas. Half inch by four inch deep. So, all right, now we're breaking out the heavy artillery. We got the, uh, I think that's a three eighths a half inch SDS bit with my 24 volt demolition hammer, the old DW004, and AC DC converter since my 24 volt batteries are <laughs> dead. So we were going to use these for those blue anchor bolts, but obviously the anchors that we bought we're going to need something much bigger to drill into the cap blocks here. So all right, there we go. Get out of the sun here. All right, so yeah, this this should suffice. I yep, think we're going to make things a little easier taking this fence out of the way. So I'll start disassembling this with my tools, wire cutters, and my adjustable wrench, and we'll take this section of fence out. Uh, fence is pretty much out of the way. A lot of dirt here. Holy crap. And the worms.
Yeah, I couldn't remember if these were filled with concrete. I don't, didn't think they were. So. They just hammered right in, huh? Sweet. All right, progress is coming along. I still got my old frame from when we were doing this retaining wall that now I can dig up and out the fence is out of the way. So that's what I will do. Yeah, wasn't too bad. I can probably level this dirt out now. Whew. I'm glad we okay, did this. We got some that are anchored and some that are there's nothing in there. So. They'll, they'll still anchor, yep. but they'll anchor to the bottom of the yeah the cap block. It's which, not solid all the way through. Yeah. Which honestly, they're coming between two bricks. We probably hit the hole that was in between those two oh, cinder sorry. blocks there. So, well, that happens. But three out of four, not bad. And we'll probably figure something out. Oh, it's still grabbing. No doubt about it. Well, that's good. We got a post in, but it's not all the way down. It looks like it's swelled up a little bit, so I got to commence to beating it in place. All right, it is in there. Total height? Six feet, half inch. Six, six feet, half inch. Sweet. Eight foot poles. No, because they're six foot uh, sections of fence. Oh, are they? Yep. Eight oh, feet wide. Right. Nope. Oh. Base number two is close to being in place. All right, post number two is in. I had to put a little shimmage there and washers because of the, the levelness of the retaining wall. We're looking good. Setting for the middle base now. Could be an issue later. Damn it. Alrighty then. Alright, well, while we're getting that last base in, I'm going to go ahead and cut these last two pieces of fence post that used to hold a chain link here before we put this vinyl up. And look, 24 volt saws all. Alright. Let's get to whack in here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut these as close to the ground as possible because eventually I think I'm going to be putting concrete down here as a sidewalk. So these poles got to come up anyway. All right, now that one was easy. This one with this little concrete bracket to it, 
It was a little bit more of a pain in the ass, but I finally got it. So, yeah, this was kind of encased in concrete here, but it's gone now. Uh, right, I think we're getting to the point where we can wax some of these long bolts. So, luckily I got the old Sawzall, and we'll commence to trimming them. That was easy. Yeah, Bonix is coming to investigate what we're doing because it's open space right now and uh, the dogs might get you if you even think of coming over here. Alright, go ahead and cut those two now. Yep, now these four are next. <laughs> Not so easy. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for the last post. Alright, we're all cut. So now I think we're ready to start putting the sections of fence. Put them in place. Yep. We need to anchor the 4x4s to those brackets for reinforcement. We're using three and a half inch screws. Is that what those are? Three and a half? Okay, like a box of 50 or something like that. You know, just do two on each side. We don't need four on all of them. These things are pretty stout as it is. Alright, well, we had to put a couple of little washers in there to shim it up because it wasn't quite lined up, but now it is. So, yeah, definitely get that shimmed up before putting the fence panel on. It's just a lot easier to yeah, put those in there like that. Damn worms. So now I think we're ready for the privacy fence sections. Now, how's that for tightedness? Right up against the existing vinyl. Yep. On the top. That's because that vinyl fence ain't plumb. No. Of course concrete's not plumb. Be. Yeah. I might be wrong but I bet if we stick a level on that. Yeah. I bet my eyeballs made that level. Yeah. Plumb. Yeah, this is, uh, I think the concrete is definitely not no. not straight, so having to work with with uh, faulty, non-level non concrete here. <laughs> and also, real quick, we put a couple of little stakes in here to kind of get it off the concrete a little bit. Yep, one section is in, and yeah. Not much of a walking space between my outdoor fireplace and the panel. I guess I'm going to have to lose a couple of pounds. But yeah, it's nice and secure. So, ah, nice. So now we're ready for the last section. And there you have it. The second section's in place. It's got a bit of a bow here. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's probably, again, concrete. But everything lined up the way it was supposed to. So. Not a big deal, but uh, yeah, section is there. Yeah, and there's the front. Of course, the fireplace is going to block one section of it, but uh, yeah, I was just readjusting the gate because it dropped a little bit once we took this old fence out, and we'll probably put something temporary in here to keep the rabbit in wherever she is. But uh, yeah, that's how you do a privacy fence on a retaining wall. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching.